Good evening. Dear storytellers, dear screen industry colleagues, esteemed researchers, dear friends, welcome to the opening ceremony of the CARLA 2020 conference hosted by Women in Film International in collaboration with Carl International Film Festival here in Karlskrona, Sweden, as well as all over the world. My name is Johanna Koljonen, and I am one of five moderators sharing the task of guiding our exciting program over the next few very long days, designed to accommodate participation across time zones. And of course, whenever you miss something important, it will be available for catch up after the fact. This unique event has been made possible by support from the Swedish Film Institute, the Postcode Foundation, the Canada Media Fund, Screen Island, and Urimage and created in collaboration with Women in Film and TV networks and with the partner networks from six continents, as well as others, such as the Programmers of Color Collective, the Banff Film Festival, the Gina Davis Institute, and the Sundance Institute. Our gratitude to all of them is enormous, as is our gratitude to you for taking the time to join us, for taking the time to share this experience and perhaps to share should you wish, your experiences in sessions, in workshops, and in social events. Starting now, which is Friday night in Sweden, and continuing to our Sunday night, we will talk about diversity and inclusion in the film industries. It is not too late to register, which is required to access for some of the programming, so do tell your friends to join us. It is still free. Our speakers are like you artists, trailblazers, trailblazers, researchers, activists, professionals of a wide range of backgrounds. And please, please help us amplify these voices. We are, of course, all familiar by now in this very strange year of 2020 with gathering virtually. But let us take a moment regardless to reflect on what that actually means. Unless you are driving, I would invite you now just for a few seconds to close your eyes. Feel that you are in a body, in a room, in a social context, in a geographic location. But also to feel that you are here, in this shared space, in our temporary reality, into which we bring our cultures, backgrounds, norms, assumptions, our poorly translated idiomatic expressions. Our first shared language here at Carla 2020 is cinema. And our second is this, these words, which for convenience we call English, and which we then wrestle with and stretch and, and struggle to make ourselves understood through. I myself am from Finland and English is my third language. And there will be participants at this conference to whom it is their fifth and others to whom it is their first. We will speak in different accents. Sometimes we will speak on wobbly connections. Don't be shy to say, I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Can you repeat it? Could you say it in other words? It's always okay to ask again. We will be speaking from different cultural contexts. Words will mean different things to us and norms about which words are okay to use and which are unthinkable will vary, even when no offense is intended. In particular, it is practical to know that language and categories around race and ethnicity are conceptualized very differently in different progressive traditions. And to try to hear past the words if someone says something that is startling to me. These conversations about our lived lives, our artistic journeys, our careers are joyful, painful, powerful. We will attempt always to speak the truth and be as brave as we can and as safe as we can. Before we move on to the conference's formal opening, it is my great pleasure to invite onto the screen my four moderating colleagues who will guide us through this weekend and sit down for conversations with our fascinating roster of guests. I will proceed in alphabetical order and also start, I think, at the greatest geographical distance. 
Melissa Silverstein is the founder and publisher of the Women, in Women and Hollywood platform, which educates and agitates for gender diversity and inclusion in Hollywood and in the global film industry. She has a long background in writing and activism. She is the artistic director and co-founder of the Athena Film Festival at Barnard College, which is in the US, and recently launched the Girls Club, a community for women creatives, culture changers, and storytellers. Welcome, Melissa. Hi, Johanna. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Uh, could you tell us where you are and what is top of your mind right now? Sure. Greetings from upstate New York. Um, I have been uh, sequestered here since uh, March when the pandemic uh, reached New York City where I am based. Top of my mind right now is actually hope. We uh, had a really great de Democratic National Convention this week that was inclusive and so hopeful. And so my top of my mind is hope that we are almost through this incredibly difficult time. Thank you, Melissa. Temba Bebe's background is in international, international film sales, but has, uh, he has for the past three years been in charge of diversity and inclusion at the European film market at the Berlinale in Germany, curating and programming events, as well as creating external collaborations centered on the market relevance of diversity. He is also the indigenous cinema coordinator in charge of implementing new outreach strategies for the native indigenous cinema stand and the native fellows program at the EFM, as well as one of a founding members of the Programmers of Color Collective. Welcome, Temba. Thank you. Could you tell us where you are and what is top of mind for you right now? Um, I'm tuning in from my lovely home here in Berlin, um, where I've been based for the past two years. And at the top of my mind right now, all the really, um, life-affirming conversations that I've had in connection with um, in the preparation for Carla 2020 over the past month, month and a half. And so um, I'm just really looking forward to all of those conversations really unfurling and developing uh, during the conference and also afterwards. That's wonderful, thank you. Victoria Thomas is a UK-based filmmaker and film educator and the founder of Republic of Story, a boutique production company based in Edinburgh, which is in Scotland, and Tallinn, which is in Estonia, that focuses on developing and producing stories authored by women. She has produced both short and feature-length films across documentary and fiction, most recently the screen adaptation of Walking with Shadows, which premiered at the 2019 BFI London Film Festival. Welcome, Victoria. Do we have Victoria? Nope, we don't currently have Victoria. I'm hoping that she will join us in just a little while. Um, yes, uh, we'll move on uh, in the meanwhile to the UK and Wendy Mitchell, who is a journalist, moderator and film festival consultant. She is a contributing editor at Screen Daily where she previously served as editor in chief and is the editor of the European Film Academy's Close-Up magazine. Her latest book is Citizen Canine, Dogs in the Movies. Welcome, Wendy. Thank you, Johanna. Great to be here. Thank you. Can you tell us where you are and what is top of your mind right now? Yes, I'm here at my home in the UK, just outside of London, um, with my can poster. Oh, wrong way. My can poster. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, what's on the top of my mind, I actually, uh, you know, like most people, I've been at home for six months. And then this week I went to Norway, to Haugesund, to the film festival. And I just got back last night and I'm so grateful to be home. Um, I'm grateful I had the chance to leave my house safely and um, interact with some filmmakers in person. But now I'm so glad to be able to be home and yet be at Carla and feel energized by the people all around the world I get to talk to while sleeping in my own bed at night. So that's wonderful. Thank you, Wendy. And I, I should say in here that my top of mind is also I've just come home from Finland where I visited my family for the first time since Christmas. And probably I won't be able to go, go back for another year. And it's just both joyful and heartbreaking, you know, it's very hard and lovely to have been there. All right, here we have Victoria as well. Welcome, Victoria. Thanks very much, Johanna. Can you tell us where you are and what is top of mind for you right now? I'm in Edinburgh at the moment in Scotland where I'm based and top of my mind at the moment is Carla. Really, I'm really looking forward to the weekend and all the amazing discussions and um, speeches that we have lined up. 
That's wonderful. Thank you, Victoria. Well, I think we should, we should get going. And to start off this opening ceremony, we will now read the value statement of the Carla 2020 conference together. As members of the global film and TV community working towards a more inclusive and just world, we share this statement as an affirmation of the values we strive for these next few days to reflect. We're committed to an intersectional framework in our fight for gender equality in all facets of life and work. We believe that Black lives matter. We believe that LGBTQIA rights are human rights. We will support and amplify the voices of artists that are undervalued, marginalized, or suppressed by politics or, or other circumstances. All right, was on mute. For those of us who hail from colonizing nations, we acknowledge that our ancestors claimed and plundered the land of indigenous peoples. We acknowledge that the wealth of wealthy nations was built on the exploitation of natural resources and indifference to the lives and suffering of humans perceived as other. We acknowledge that the cultural establishments of which we are part, which fund our work or control our visibility and status are still only at the start of a transformation towards true representation. We are committed to be part of that transformation and we are grateful for this chance to practice these values. We acknowledge that this work requires practice, resources, self-criticism and a real willingness to share power. We acknowledge that we all come with biases that the world we live in is racist, sexist, ableist, homophobic, anti-Semitic, classist, casteist, and colorist, and that it privileges those from the global north. As such, we acknowledge that we are all works in progress and that we will endeavor to do the necessary work to overcome and eliminate our internalized prejudices. We will call out prejudice when we rec recognize it. And when we ourselves make mistakes and are corrected, we will say thank you. Because when someone draws a boundary or is willing to teach us, they are giving us a gift of trust. We remind ourselves to listen with an open mind and a generous spirit to each other as we share knowledge, experiences, lessons, sorrows, and joys. We will assume that we dream about the same present and the same future, and we remember that our past and our context have been and will be different. We will ask for clarifications when we don't understand someone's point of view or make a note to learn about it later if we can. We will embrace the complexity of the world and celebrate each conversation as a step towards shared understanding. And that concludes uh, the value statement. Thank you all. And of course, we will post this uh, on the website as well. Uh, we are now rearranging some, some chairs, so to speak, virtual chairs here on the stage. If the moderators are disappearing, that is why, but you will see them later in this session uh, and uh, as well, um, of course, all through this week and 